that being said, if you do own a phone, don't fall into, you know, thinking that there's such thing as a safe phone, right? With the advent of many uh many types of different phones that say oh i'm i'm low emf many people can be lured into the idea that uh okay well i'll purchase this phone and then i won't have to worry about all this advice i keep hearing about not putting it on the on the ear or not keeping it in the pocket because that phone is safe or it's safer well the levels of EMFs emitted by these low EMF phones is still within the ranges of biological effects. And we don't even know if reducing the power by half or even by 10 times is sufficient to avoid the cancer risks, for example. So therefore, we don't know what the safe level is of radio frequency radiation you can be safely exposed to. Uh, some people uh, on a scientific standpoint, uh, like Archer Furstenberg would tell you that there is there is no safe level. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that, but you know the future will tell because some other scientists think we should go to extremely extremely low level and we see fewer biological effects at these levels. So they don't each agree with one another. But when it comes to the phone. The choice of phone is not completely used. It's not completely, you know, should be completely discarded, but almost. I don't think it's useful to talk about which phone is safer because all of them are unsafe. Uh, something you told me, Brian, and, and that's true, though. If you want to talk about dumb phone or let's say a very simple flip phone versus a smartphone, the dumber phones have an advantage where they are less likely to be emitting all sorts of different signals, right? Yeah, and it's because they are only used for texting and phone calls. And so smartphones, you have all these apps that are constantly pinging the tower. Now you can turn a smartphone into a dumb phone by shutting off the, the network, the data network. On, uh, on Android phones and on iPhones. And that way it'll stop the constant pinging and it acts more like a dumb phone. It'll only receive phone calls and uh, you can send text messages through it. But yeah, the as far as like advantages of having a dumb phone, um, not too much when it's, when it's uh, compared with a smartphone that has uh, the data shut off. It's about the same. And the only advantage to having a dumb phone or a flip phone uh, right now is that you don't have to worry about that setting. Um, there's not as much blue light. There's not as many uh, privacy concerns as like the, with the face recognition of smartphones and those sorts of things. There's a lot of exposures that you have with the smartphone for sure. But the dumb phone, as far as like being on a phone call, really not that much different. Yeah, and I'll share also uh, in the show notes an episode I did on the rise of safer phones. Uh, and I talk in this podcast episode about Mudita, for example, from Poland, or I talk about uh, the Light phone, which is a very simple phone. Some of these phones have advantages besides just EMFs. Uh, one of them is, you know, distri distractibility or uh, the, the lack of an addictive factor. If your phone is not exciting to look at, there's nothing on it. Well, you're not very likely to stare at your phone for hours on end. So uh, there are advantages just uh, in, in that sense of having a simpler phone. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, you know, I am the co-creator of the EMF circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our circle members. Every month we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can 
can listen back to. Everything is pre record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a cars masterclass. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit EMF circle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.